Good afternoon, it was a warm, bright and sunny day. It is Friday the 9th of June. I've got a nice hot cup of tea. And a box to continue uh, unboxing. And what I've already unboxed, the Gloom Dragon. What I am going to unbox next is this which is the Species Guide 1, Shakhtar and Wraithen, a source book for Slay Industries 2nd Edition. This is published by Nightfall Games. And Slay Industries is a role-playing game that is now 30 years old, originally published by Nightfall Games, a Scottish publisher, back in 1993. And it's had a bit of a tortuous publishing history since, but it's back with the, the original publishers, or the original team of publishers and artists, and has been um, brought out with a full color book, full color source books, um, and it looks absolutely great. So, Species Guide, Shakhtar uh, um, Stroke Raven. The Honorable Shakhtar and the Flighty Raven, the two species that have been part of the bedrock of slay industries throughout the operative program, get an in-depth examination in the first Species Guide source book for slay industries second edition. Learn about the eight, uh, eight Shakhtar moons and the, the hunting grounds of, of Polo, the emptiness of obsidian armour and the Blitz 6-6 coolant system, the Shakhtar song blades and the Raythan heart sniper blade. At, uh, sorry, stopper blade, sorry. Um, new feats, traits and skill packages for Shakhtar and Raythan operatives, details of the worlds and cultures. This species guide gives players and GMs like Details of how to better integrate Shakhtar's and Wraithor into the games and their operative squads. Polar Opposites, Speed and Strength. Slay Industry 2nd Edition is a tabletop role-playing game that uses Nightfall Games S5S rule system recommended for two or more mature players. So there we go. So we've got a picture of that's a, that's a Wraithon on the back and we have a Shakhtar on the front. Let's find out what we've got inside. Um, so we open up with the credits page and a piece of colour fiction at the beginning. So nice use of the inside page. You often that's often left blank, but isn't here. Um, you know, you whereas at the end you've got more colour fiction and the end to the scenario. But we'll show that or the BPN, I'll show that to you in a bit. So contents page, really kept simple. You know, turns to this page for the Shakhtar, turns to this page for the Raven. Um, and here we have introduction to the Shakhtar. Um, and you can see how good the artwork, art, artwork is, you know, there and then there. Um, we're talking about um, Shakhtar ideology. And uh, there, uh, um, essentially, uh, their philosophy around the sword and the bowl. Um, the orde ordeals they go through, um, almost ritual like Shakhtar's on Fen 603s, um, at, um, at uh, essentially the Fen 603 is a pistol in the game, and everyone receives one um, once they uh, graduate from Mene and become an operative. And Shakhtar's uh, basically revere them. Um, and then we have um, sort of like some of like the religious or uh, paths that the Shakhtar take um, in an attempt to avoid emptiness. Um, uh, and re working relationships essentially with all of the various species to be found working for uh, slay industries. So you've got humans, frothers, ebonites, stormers, wraithen, advanced carrion, uh, nephrons, and so on. Then we get on to Shakhtar religions and how they are tied into the eight Shakhtar moons. Uh, temples, the Shakhtarian Pantheon, um, Shakhtar history, various tribes of the Shakhtar, so they don't actually have a, a very long history, um, so various tribes, tribal lands, Language, law, and tribal skills, so you, you can actually develop sort of like the aspect of the character um, as well as sort of like their general um, training at, 
at Mene. Uh, we have um, ar armor and equipment. So the various shotgun weapons, blades, pistols, and the like. And these are all in the new edition of um, blah, 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 um, Slay in the Streets. These are all gloriously illustrated in full color, as you can see. In the previous editions, a lot of the equipment was illustrated and looked fantastic, but it, not all of it. So you kind of got, you know, you really wanted to, sort of, to use some of it because the weapons looked great, but you wanted sort of like a feel for the others. And here we have more bladed weapons. Um, and uh, legendary weapons as well. So you've got relics that Wraith and Mike go after in an attempt to find. And I'm sorry about the ice cream van. And then we've got the alarm. Brilliant. Uh, Shaktarian fauna. So various different creatures. Uh, and then the dangers of association with the Shadow Moon and Shadow Moon Corruption. Check that skill packages. So you can have these are skill packages um, that you can take instead of the training on uh, Mene to become Slay Operative. Um, traits, honor codes, that sort of thing. So this is all about the Shaktar and the feats as well, blessings. Uh, and then we come to the Wraith. So you've got a good solid package upon the Shakdar there, uh, and it's going to do essentially more or less the same for um, the Wraithen, the personalities, Wraithen and Slayer. So they've already done that as uh, uh, um, for the Shakdar. Working relationships with each of the character, uh, other species again. So following a similar format. Um, so. Wraith and family life, sex, gender, um, that sort of thing covered. Um, other activities such as um, at uh, Zero G Murder Ball, um, the nature of the world of polo, um, ancient history, and then society on polo today. Um, Raythan subspecies, so you've actually got like, you know, northern hemisphere Raythan, and you can see them in the, all in the glory there. It's classic pieces of artwork. Um, and uh, starting, you've got starting subspecies stats, and then um, equipment. Um, so, more guns, more devices. Um, including an Ishmael harpoon la launcher, because what else are you going to call a harpoon launcher? Um, armor. Not all of this is illustrated necessarily, but I mean, it's not too bad, you know. Um, you know, but, uh, and then other equipment. There's actually more equipment for the Wraithen than there is for the Shakdar, including toxicants um, and so on. Um, new traits. Such as sorcery tension span, double jointed, um, new feats, which are, um, you know, feats are what are the sort of special moves you can do that make you look good on, on camera. Um, and then, okay, then we have uh, the details of Wraith and, and, and uh, Shakdar essentially on in the world of, of Slain Disease and um, some of the. Um, Groups that you might encounter, you've got a blueprint, a BPN, a blueprint news file as a um, essentially a scenario. So yeah, and you've got more details upon Wraith and um, flora and fauna. Um, more blueprint news files. All the way down to a hunter sheet, which is the last thing here. A hunter sheet essentially are um, generally kill missions to target against the, uh, a, a, um, another organisation or an individual for slay industries. So yeah, and details continued on the back. So yeah, that's the species guide Shakdar and Wraithen for 
um, Slain Beast Second Edition from Nightfall Games. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to get more unboxings in the nook, where you will see me out here um, with a box containing a book or game which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge. Um, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. Then please do click on the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching another unboxing look. I will be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.